What's going on, everyone? Forex Fargo checking in with your Forex Fargo weekly webinar, March 29th, all the way through April 2nd, 2021. It's going to be a huge week. We're going to have the month of March ending on uh, Wednesday, and then come Thursday, we're going to have a brand new month, right? So what to do, how to look for opportunities, you know, where to scale in, look no further. Forex Fargo is going to provide some entries, some take profits, and some stop losses, right? So like, comment, share, subscribe, help me grow the channel, help the YouTube algorithm share, and let's dive into it, baby. Welcome back everyone for Rex Fargo weekly webinar, right? So of course we're going to start off with the dollar index. So pretty much the overall sentiment this month has been bullish. So what we're going to go ahead and do is see, you know, how price actually interacts from this level right here, right? So I think the price may push all the way maybe up to 93 or so just to, you know, probably get some liquidity. So I'm looking to see what happens when price gets to right here. As we can see, just last week, I was looking to see, you know, price holding up on its own. Uh, obviously, that did not happen. Price is continuously pushing up. So we have this higher time frame level of resistance right here on this 93 a dollar level. If we happen to break past that, you know, my next level right here is at 93 uh, 751 right so we don't necessarily i necessarily don't trade the dollar index what it is is for me to kind of gauge it since the pairs that we do trade right so euro usd all right what i'm looking at in euro usd if you can see right here um on this currently price is at 117 you know 600 or so 680 so uh right here we haven't broken so if we were to draw a you know ceiling or i mean a floor right here we can see and then look left this level has been held from November of 2020, right? So this is the lowest where, uh, currently where price is at right now on EU is where price was at when we had the elections. It's not the week, but it's the week after the elections were held November 4th, right? So if we look at, you know, uh, you know, November 4th or so like that, right? Like, you know, this is kind of when price had this huge bump, right? So as long as we're respecting these levels right here, I believe that price is going to, you know, uh, remain on the bullish uptrend and that should also align with the fact that you know we should see some um we should see some bearish momentum on we're expecting to see some bearish momentum on the dollar index you know if we are to be held at that ceiling at 93 right so once again it all comes with it uh what i will do is just kind of adjust this right here a little bit you won't call it a buy limit but you know you can if you want to you can change this to a buy stop just making it easy You know, once again, the trend is your friend. So move along with the uh, moving along with price is going to be key here. 117, we'll call it 118. 118, you know. 375. We'll add another one right here in the middle. This is why I prefer to leave, you know. History likes to repeat itself, you know, especially with the with the trading, right? So the best thing that you can do is just look for familiar familiarities. I can't have a hard time saying that word, but uh, look for you know things that are uh, common from what you how you traded in the past, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this, right? You know, um, this is November November 11th lows. November 11, 2020 lows, right? And that would be quarter four, right? So we also call this now. It's part of quarter four lows, right? But that's not the lowest of quarter four, right? So essentially, I'd be looking for something like this. On the four hour time frame, you know, we will be looking to see, you know, if price can maintain this. Um, what this actually looks like if you are to draw, you know, where's the path at, real quick? Excuse me. Right. Here it is right here, right? So, you know, if we are expecting price to push all the way back up here, right? So, excuse me. So, do that, get rid of that. We will get rid of, just wanna extend this zone right here, right? So if we're looking for price to push up here, from there to there, what it looks like is that price is doing, you know, a W pattern, right? So that is something that we can potentially expect on EU. Um, you know, once again, the dollar has been weak overall. I know that, you know, people have been getting money and the economy is coming back. And, you know, I know that 
uh, it, it's starting to look good, right? But just the overall fact is you're giving people these, this money, where is it coming from, right? So, you know, Robin Peter to pay Paul, the Americans are going to be paying it back at some sort and in some sense, which is why, you know, just reading on with the news, which is why, you know, rates are dropping, but everything else is going up, right? So fucking gas is going back up, you know, travel and everything. So they're giving people money because they want it. They want them to put it back into the economy. Let's not do that. If you are getting money, put it in the Forex, put it into fucking trading, invest in yourself and fucking get out of that nine to five rat race. I'm not sounding like IML. I'm just fucking speaking facts, right? Back to regular schedule program. So moving on. On AU, this is something I'd be interested in looking on on AU, right? So if we look at AU right over here, uh, looking to the left, it seems that price literally uh, found support. Uh, just looking at this, this has happened, you know, sometime last week, right? But price sometime last week, you know, uh, found support at this 76, call it 76 cents, right? So right now, you know, we've been flirting from 76 cents all the way to you know, if you look at this right here, how many days have we been like this? <clears throat> Excuse me, we've been doing this for four days. Four about, days about, I don't know how many hours that is. Yeah, this doesn't matter. We've just been in the 50 pip range for like four days, right? So what I feel safe saying, if you guys don't feel comfortable taking a trade right there, no need. All right, moving on, right? So if you guys don't feel comfortable taking the trade right here at this where price currently is at, okay? So, you know, what you can do is price might, you know, work all the way back down here to the 250-ish or so, right? But, uh, you know, more importantly, um, you know, what we are looking at is to see if price can go ahead and push back up to these previous weekly highs that we have, right? So I'd be interested in taking a trade right over here at these current levels. What is that? Yeah. I'm looking to see if I could take a trade right here. Right. So I'd probably do a buy stop. Yeah, I change this. Change this. That looks good. Buy limit. Nope. Buy stop. All right, so this is what I'd be looking at <clears throat> if it came to AU, right? And I'm going to be doing some light trading, but I'm only literally just looking at these pairs. If it happens, it happens. You know, if it does not, it does not, right? But these should be the only pairs that you do need, right? You know, if I'm looking at USD weakness and I'm looking at USD weakness, right? But if I'm chasing a trade, I'm, you know, there's, there's no need for me to be trading everything, right? So this is a good possibility and probability of this happening you can actually catch this on the buy stop you know this buy stop is actually set for right here right so let's move this the buy stop is activated right here if you want to scale in on the smaller time frame though you can see that you know like i said you know this looks like from right here where this 38 level is uh, 138 250 looks like you already have the start of up here of the w formation so you know one you're looking at a retest right here or, you know, indecision and then price should, you know, push back up here. Now you probably will get this push back up and then a fake out pulling back and grabbing more liquidity and then at London open or sometime during London, you'll see price move up, right? But uh, what is expected is that sometime this week, you know, just looking at this on the Forex factory chart, we do have some news coming out, you know, ADP non-farm employment change. This is not the NFP that happens on the first month of, um, First Friday of every month, this is just something completely different. It's something related to it, whatever. It affects it somewhat similar. Um, but what we're going to do is in anticipation of that, whether we have positive news or not, you know, at some point, you know, price is going to be affected at that. So we're just going to try to see what trades we can take prior to that. So on GJ, 
right on dj you know this is absolute like a, a a beauty and a doozy right so if you guys didn't take this trade this is actually a trade that i ended up sneaking like i said you know my computer wasn't able for me to work but uh what we can do is anticipate the fact that you know i'll keep this here because you know price may whip all the way back down there it may not but what we can do is see that you know we do have some good probability of price hitting back to the highs of this 152. It doesn't necessarily need to be that 400. So, you know, I was being greedy, but we'll call it the 152, you know, 285 or so, right? So what, what we'd be interested in is monitoring price action around here, right? And then looking to see what will happen when price, you know, either breaks this level or, you know, holds at this level, right? So uh, that is what I'd be interested in. And then I think I'll be, you know, interested in one more trade with this UCAD, right? So I'd be interested, I already have it set up right here, but I'd be interested in a USD CAD sell if price, not if, but yeah, if price happens to make it, and then if we were to get something similar over here on the left-hand side. So if you see this over here, like a hundred pips or so, I'm looking to see if I can mirror that, you know, and see if we can catch that, right? Uh, once again, that's all gonna be with the monthly candle closing uh um you know the weekly candle closing on friday you know the ending of the quarter you know uh some 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 you know other factors and everything like that so you know forex farm will check it out hopefully you guys catch some tips you win some you lose some you know as long as you guys are practicing you know practice is what's going to make perfect right so you know don't get in this game if you're not fucking afraid to lose and don't get in this game with the sense of over cockiness right